Warning, this video will contain footage from the final trailer of the Sonic 2 movie and will be containing some spoilers. This is your warning. Hello everybody, this is me back here and I'm here to talk about the Sonic 2 movie because I watched it when it premiered on Friday and I didn't get to making a video until now. So I want to talk about it because it's been rolling through my head ever since. Because, I guess spoiler warning, I like this movie. <laughs> I know not, a, well, a, a lot of people seem to like this movie. But there's some people that just really don't. And that's, that's fine. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you're looking for negative actions or whatnot in this video... Uh, they're not for this movie. If you want to see some negative shit, then, uh, go to my Kingdom Hearts 4 video that I just recently posted. Uh, I think yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. Okay. So, without further ado, let's get into this. I think, first of all, I th probably should tell you my thoughts on the first movie. Um, I liked the first movie, but I had a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth. You know, I, I, I wanted more from a Sonic movie. You know, I wanted more stuff from the source material. And when I was when I was saying stuff like that, my friends were like, "No, it's it's a starting movie. It should just, you know, be like how the first movie was, where it just kind of has Sonic and." some other stuff like Robotnik and stuff and just kind of being it. But, like, I just, I wanted more. I wanted more from the source material because it's just a little annoying to me. I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit annoying to me. And then rolling into this movie, we get a lot more. Obviously, we have Tails and Knuckles, and I thought that was going to be it, but no. They have, like, the Wasp enemies from the original game. They have Master Emerald lore. We get, well, I, this is a huge spoiler at the end. But we get the mech from Sonic 1, and then we get Super Sonic, which is just incredible. That's just really, really nice. And it really just solves every problem I had with the first movie just in its entirety in its literal entirety there are some gripes that I have about this movie one of them being the entire wedding subplot because it just it was unneeded made little to no sense just kind of stretched the movie longer and it didn't have a lot to offer to the table so it's was just kind of there and it just kind of just really nails down i wouldn't say completely nails down there were some moments where you know i liked it you know it's it's creative you r ruin a wedding in hawaii by sending sonic over through a ring and an avalanche falling through, like, the ring with him. Like, that's clever. That's clever. But then it just goes on for way too long, and then the villain, quote-unquote, in that subplot just made no goddamn sense. His motives were dumb. And it kind of reminded me of the police chief from TMNT Out of the Shadows, where, like, proof would be right in front of her face, and, like, how something would be like proving that like the turtles are not a threat and like exist and it was like no no they don't exist they it's, uh, no and i'm like it's just so annoying it it's it's a really huge annoying point in the movie but the subplot has some things to offer it does have some really fun stuff in it but for the most part, it just really drags the movie down. And there is another scene that does that, where they're in Siberia, and they go into a bar, 
and they just do the whole thing from the first movie again, going into a bar, doing some, well, quote-unquote Zoomer humor stuff, like a dance battle and just all that. And it's like, why? You don't need this. <laughs> like, you just, you don't need this. And it's, it just doesn't make a lot of sense in retrospect. Also, there's a certain moment in the beginning where, you know, the the iconic scene where Knuckles catches Sonic as, like, he's charging up for a spin dash, and then Knuckles just blocks it with his bare hand when it's, like, something going light speed and probably could tear through his entire arm, and then Tails just zooms in with a police car at, like, 30 miles an hour and then just <laughs> runs it straight into Knuckles and he goes flying. I'm like, why? That's such a weird power diversity. It's, like, it's so off. Like, okay, you can stop something that possibly moves faster than, the, well, obviously moves faster than the speed of light through multiple calculations and stuff like that. But you're not... You get flown. You get you get absolutely bodied by a police car that's going 30 miles an hour when you can block something with your hand that goes, like, over 200. Like, that's just weird. And the whole entire, like, powers thing in this with the main characters it's not consistent because there's a certain scene where sonic just doesn't run at the speed that he can and then there's another scene where he like runs against a whole fucking ocean and it's like why why have this differency it like it's just the inconsistency is so weird and it's something that I just can't comprehend well. But outside of the gripes that I have with this this uh, movie and how much, even though it has so much Zoomer humor and it has stuff that really can make you pissed off, it does really please classic Sonic fans, like, a lot. It has a lot of representation in it. It will please you. It will please you more than the first movie. I gotta say, it will. Even though there are some really cringy moments, like they made fu- They made Eggman floss again, and it just- ugh. But outside of that, I feel- I feel like this is a solid movie, and I know that we're getting a third, and there's a post credit scene with Shadow, meaning that he's gonna be in the third. So- I hmm, I feel like three of these movies is pushing it a little little hard, but I do enjoy seeing egg seeing Jim Carrey do Eggman because he's just such a good role. I would say he's about the same. He has about a, the same performance as he does in this movie that he did the first. Um, but. Yeah, I feel like this is a good movie. If you're a classic Sonic fan, you're going to like it, probably. Uh, I kind of wish that they did, like, tailor, tailor it more to the, like, ideal Sonic demographic. Like, having it PG-13 and having something that adults can get pleasure out of a little bit more i'm not saying like you make it rated r or something like that and have a bunch of gore no i'm saying that i don't know just tie, try and fit it more with its demographic because let's be honest if you're watching this movie you're probably a classic sonic fan that grew up with these games like in the 90s and just wanted more so, I feel like, overall, it should be a fun time for you. I feel like you're going to get a kick out of this movie. It does do a lot of fun things. And even though that it 
could be it, it could fit more with its demographic think of think of the most recent mortal kombat movie we've had pg-13 mortal kombats for ages and finally getting it to where we have good fan service a good rating for mortal kombat it was good it was a good movie that y- y- like me and a lot of other people can get pleasure out of because it's a like it's what the fans want and it fits with its demographic so yeah i feel like you're gonna have a fun time with this movie i should probably stop recording so i don't say that like more and more but i i don't know it's just it's a solid time it's a solid time if you give it the if you give it a grain of salt because it is a kids movie you're going to probably enjoy it. There's some times where you're going to get annoyed and there's some times where you're going to gush and there's some times where it just doesn't make a lot of sense and you kind of wish that you didn't pay for your ticket. But anyway, um <laughs> it's a fun time. I feel like you should go watch this movie if you haven't already and yeah i think that's it for me i guess like comment and subscribe if you want to see more check out my most recent kingdom hearts video because god damn it i really i didn't expect it to get as much covers as it did especially for you know being i don't know it's it's weird but anyway Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that, if you want, obviously. And, um, yeah, I can't wait to see you in future uploads. Peace.